Thank you, Jody, and good morning. Three people are dead, 30 others missing after a massive fire raged through a Quebec senior's home. The blaze broke out just after midnight at the 52 unit complex in Lille Vert. Several fire departments in the region were called in to help knock down the blaze. Initial reports said 20 residents had been transported to safety. Authorities are still trying to determine the number of victims and the cause of the blaze. And after the big question of the day and one of the greatest moments in the lead up to every Olympic Games, who will carry the Canadian flag at the opening ceremonies? As we await the big announcement from the Canadian Olympic Committee due out in about 30 minutes, we join reporter Greg Harper for some sophisticated guesswork. Greg? Good morning, Tamara. Yeah, a lot of uh, guessing here this morning on who exactly it's going to be. We should know in about half an hour from now, and we'll have that for you live. It is the Canadian Olympic Committee uh, who decides who's going to have this unbelievable honour. It's actually four people on the panel that make this decision. Of course, you know who it was here in Vancouver back in 2010. That was Clara Hughes, a huge moment for her and the Canadian Olympic team as she got to carry the Canadian flag inside BC Place for the opening ceremonies. 21 Canadian athletes in all, uh, as far as the Winter Olympics goes, have had this honour going back to 1924. There's some great candidates this time around. Some of the names being thrown out there. Speed skater Charles Hamlin, he won two golds here in Vancouver. Uh, skier Alex Bilodeau, remember he won the first gold here in Vancouver. Uh, a lot of people want him. Uh, some people are saying Sidney Crosby or perhaps it'll be hockey star Haley Wickenheiser. She is making her fifth Olympic appearance. Here's what uh, these Vancouverites are saying. Uh, Sidney Crosby I think would be a good choice um, just because he got that game winning goal in the in the big game in 2010 and Vancouver I think that would be a good choice. I definitely thought Kaylee Wickenheiser. <laughs> yeah, she's just she's such a role model. She a mother, an amazing athlete, just an inspiration to everybody. I think Alex Bilodeau. I think uh, the fact that he won that first gold on home soil is it was such a moment when that happened and uh, he deserves to carry the flag as a result. I think. One person it likely won't be is Sidney Crosby. The Penguins are taking on the Rangers the same day as the opening ceremonies. Plus, our hockey team isn't expected to arrive in Sochi until two days before uh, uh, they play. So it's likely not going to be Sidney Crosby. Who do you think it's going to be? Log on to our Facebook page and let us know. We should know around 7 o'clock this morning. And again, we'll have that for you live from Ottawa. Tamara? Thank you for that. Reporter Greg Harper for us in False Creek this morning. To bolster security ahead of next month's Winter Olympics appear to be ramping up. Authorities are now looking for several female terrorism suspects as special forces conduct operations in Dagestan. This as international debate builds over security at Sochi, despite assurances from the country's leaders that Russia is doing all it can to keep the games safe. Vancouver police have released a sketch of a sex assault suspect in connection with the attack of a woman January 5th on Burrard near Davies Street. The suspect is Asian in his 30s, 5 foot 4 with a slim build and short black hair. He was wearing a dark shirt, light colored jeans and he was carrying a bright gold colored backpack. UBC, RCMP are trying to find a patient who simply packed up his things and left. Edward Grant walked away from the Purdy Pavilion on Tuesday. The 78-year-old has dementia but has not taken off before. Grant was wearing a black fedora, a long black coat, brown pants, and he was carrying a suitcase. He's a black man of Caribbean descent, 5 foot 9, and he wears black framed glasses. Kamloops RCMP have launched a major investigation aimed at high school students in the city. They're concerned about the spread of inappropriate material online. The Mounties won't elaborate on exactly what may have been shared, but they do say it involved some form of social media. They are considering a range of charges, including production and distribution of child pornography, harassment, and uttering threats. We will do whatever the evidence dictates we need to do from our processes, and that could mean counseling for some students, it could mean working with parents for some students, it could mean uh, supporting them in other ways, and it could mean taking action of a disciplinary nature for those who are exploiting this situation. The investigation includes several high schools throughout the Kamloops area district. The Canadian dollar is at its lowest level in over four years this morning. The Canadian buck tumbled nearly a full cent yesterday to close at just over 90 cents U.S. And it's down about another half cent in overseas trading this morning. The latest drop is being blamed in part on the Bank of Canada's decision yesterday to trim its forecast for inflation.